Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today I'm going to cut down this tree. This tree's been on my list that it needed to come down. We're just behind the Quonset hut where I've been working on setting up different things, and this tree's in the way. But beyond being in the way, it's dying, and it's got a hard lean to it. So it's going to take itself down at some point. You can see up here, this is not... This is not a small tree that we're talking about. So this is the back side where you can see that the tree is dying. I don't know how deep that rock goes, but you can see something has happened to this tree and taken out this whole side, probably why it has the lean. You can also see up here, like this entire branch right there is dead. But most of the tree is still healthy, but with the lean and the way this side is, it's not, it's not the safest tree to cut down. I don't know if this angle demonstrates it any more than the other, but it's definitely leaning in this direction. There is a lot of weight this way, but there's also a lot of weight back the other way. But that trunk leans so hard that it's it's going to go that way. The problem is, will it go before I'm ready? So let me show you my plan for how I'm going to cut this down and try to do it safely. The obvious danger with a tree like this is that if you make a traditional face cut and you cut through the back, it might be very easy and just go when you're ready. But it also could decide to go before you're ready and barber chair. Because if the center's rotten, then when you cut from the back and it loses strength from the back and you've already taken the strength from the front that leaves no strength at all and it can go ahead and fall with a lot of wood still connected and that's when it's dangerous so i'm going to cut the back last and the first thing i'm going to do is strap the top of the tree not the top but just above where i'm going to cut and that's a little trick that can help kind of hold the tree together for a second if it does try to barber chair. So I'm going to put a couple straps about head high on here. Then I'm going to do my bore cut first because I've got a 36 inch bar that will just barely go through. And I think if I make a bore cut first, then I'll be able to see my spots and hit them better with the face cut. Then once I have a face cut and a bore cut, I'm going to cut backward out the back of the tree from the high side. That's the plan anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 
I like to answer questions I think are coming in the comments. Why did I cut it so high? It's a dangerous tree. I want to cut it standing up. That's done easier if you're up high. Now, the other things about that is I can still cut this off again after the tree's down. I can cut another 16 inches off of it if I wanted to grind the stump out. But I may not. I may pull it out, dig it out, dig out around it with a mini X or something, in which case having a high stump is a good thing. In terms of my bore cut, it comes in right here and leaves me about three inches of hinge. My face cut is in the direction that the tree wants to go. I'm not too deep into the tree. I do not have a Dutchman on this side, although there's a little bit of hanging wood here. There's, it's a good clean cut on this side. I think the inside of this is going to be hollow, but not completely hollow. Let's take a quick look at the other side of this cut. Once again, here's the other side of my bore cut. It's about two or three inches above the face cut. It's about two or three inches behind the face cut. This is exactly where I want my hinge to be. Now, we've taken out the danger of the middle going before we're ready for it to. So it should be a pretty straightforward cut now that I can just start the saw here and walk it back and I'll be left with a trigger and it's gonna go at a very predictable time based on my understanding of, of the, the physics here. So hopefully I'm right. That is exactly the way I wanted that to go. My face cut was right. The process of working it back was smooth and easy. The center of the tree was not completely hollow and dead, but I had no way to actually know that. So I'm going to call that a success. Looking at that log, I think I might get a nice fat saw log, even if it's fairly short. And of course, the other obvious thing is now I have a mess to clean up. But lucky thing is, I like cleaning up messes. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you think I did wrong, but there's nothing wrong with being polite about how you tell me that. And I'm going to put links on the screen to more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.